I never thought that I would see, what, 17 tornadoes? Like, I was going to be happy with a thunderstorm. Those 17 tornadoes included an EF4 on their very first day. I think the first tornado we saw was a little surreal for me. I think I kind of was like, oh my gosh, am I really seeing that? Unlike a regular classroom, this scenario is very unpredictable. It's also unglamorous. It's eight, eight students, two professors in this little tiny van. You know, you get to know each other pretty well. We didn't know until the day, or really even the morning of, that we left Bowling Green, whether or not we were headed to Nebraska or if we we're going to head to Texas. The class is Geography 475 field methods, weather analysis, and forecasting. The point of the course is uh, to sharpen forecast skills. Each student conducts their own forecast, and that involves looking at a number of uh, data parameters and, and whatnot that are available online. Once a group consensus is presented and agreed upon, it's time to chase the storm. A typical day usually involves close to six to 700 miles of driving a day. Imagine having a 24-7 tutor sitting next to you in the van all day long. So, I mean, it's really helped me as far as like in school and in class. If you're lucky, after all that driving, you find the storm you've been chasing. Sometimes these trips will only present you with one or two good storms, and we literally had good storms every day that we were out there. Including one on the final day that lingered. It ended up forming this beautiful white tornado that was on the ground for nearly 40 minutes, and it was moving very slowly. We were able to um, actually just almost relax, you know, because it was like we've, we've seen this tornado for just a long period of time and then just being able to, you know, hang out and, and watch it, you know, as it's going by.